This is a short video talking about a sun compass that was invented by a Ralph Bagnold. I'll come back to this in a second, but let me talk, tell you a little bit about the compass that he invented. It was invented by a British Army officer, Brigadier Ralph Bagnold. And he was a member of the Long Range Desert Group, which was a British Army unit that did covert recon operations during World War II. They focused on, uh, one of the things they focused on was the Libyan Desert. They're credited with the first recorded east to west crossing of the Libyan Desert, which is really big. It's, uh, I looked this up, it's uh, half a million square miles. Now, <clears throat> one of the problems they ran into was that the desert had large iron ore deposits. Well, iron ore deposits will deflect a magnetic compass, making it useless. So they needed to come up with something better than that. So they came up with this sun compass. And what you need for it to work is you need accurate time and you need to know the azimuth of the sun throughout the day, which can be calculated uh, from <clears throat> using mathematics and the nautical almanac. So during the day they navigated using this sun compass at night, they used the stars and a, a marine sextant and the nautical almanac. So that's standard celestial navigation at night. I'll show you a picture of an actual one here in a minute. It was typically mounted on the hood of their vehicle and uh, visible from the driving position. And the way it works is you set the rear of the dial to the azimuth of the sun, and then you turn your vehicle so that the shadow falls on the desired direction of travel. Now the sun moves across the sky during the day, so a given setting was only good for about 10 or 15 minutes, and then they had to update the azimuth of the sun um, as, this, as it moves through the sky. This is a picture that I found uh, on the National Army Museum website. That's uh, located in London. There was a couple of different versions of this thing. This one is the one that was designed to be mounted uh, onto the, the hood of a truck or a Jeep. And then <clears throat> it has degree markings on the edge which you set to the azimuth of the sun and then the top of the dial here there would have been a needle a knitting needle that was put into this hole here which stuck straight up like this okay I'm using a pencil and then you turn this dial until this pointer is pointing in the direction of travel and then you turn your vehicle so that the shadow falls on your desired direction of travel. Now what I did was I, <clears throat> I put together this. This is a simplified version of it. Down here is where you set the azimuth of the sun. And then this is the front of the vehicle, so this is the direction you're going to steer. And then this dial here is turned until it's pointing to the direction you want to go in. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you an example. Hold on, let me grab this other piece of paper. When noon, when noon gets here, I am going to dial in the azimuth of the sun, which is 164 degrees here today at noon. If you look over here, you'll see that I've got 164 
Here's 160, here's 170. I have so I have 164 dialed in. And then I'm going to want to travel at a bearing of 290 degrees. So I have that dialed in up here. And then I'm going to, when I go outside, I'm going to put my pencil like this. And then I'm going to turn the whole arrangement until the shadow from this pencil falls on this line right here where I want to go. This is a demonstration of the Bagnold Sun Compass. This is a crude model of one that I built out of uh, cardboard and paper plates. There's two plates here. One of them is got the 360 degree markings on it. I'll, I'll point out that they're backwards. They, in, they increase going counterclockwise like this. Normally on a compass, the degree markings increase clockwise, but on the Bagnol they're they're running backwards like this. I think that's because you're working with the shadow of the sun. So you have to visualize that this would be mounted on the uh, hood of a vehicle. This would be the back of the vehicle. Here's the front of the vehicle. It's noon here at my location, and the azimuth of the sun right now is 164 degrees. So there's 160, there's 170. I have it taped at 164. And then the direction that I want to, uh, the course I want to steer is 290 degrees. And the real Bagnold compass, there would be a needle sticking up like this. But if you look at that, the sun, the shadow of the sun is falling on my desired course of 290. And so that arrow up there that says course to steer, that's the direction that we would drive in. And I picked 290 because that's the true bearing of this concrete shelf that I have here. So as, as the day progresses, the azimuth of the sun would increase, so you'd have to keep adjusting this dial. The course you want to steer might be constant, so you wouldn't adjust this. You would just turn this to match the current azimuth of the sun, which you would get out of a set of tables. And then you would orient the vehicle so that the shadow is falling on that 290. And then this is the direction that you drive in. So I hope that helps.